get ready to stir, chop, and whisk your way to success as we learn all about the culinary career in The Sims 4, including the unique interactions and perks that the career brings, like the ability to write your own cookbooks. Now you can enter the career by using the careers panel or business section of your phone to find a job, and the first thing that you'll want to know is that the main skills required to progress in this career are cooking and mixology, with an additional skill of either gourmet cooking or charisma depending on which branch you specialize in. The ideal mood for training cooking, mixology and gourmet cooking is being inspired, and the ideal mood for training charisma is being confident. Being in the ideal mood while training a skill will save you around 25% of the usual training time, and if you have them in a strong, very state, such as being very inspired or very confident, then this will increase to save around 35% of the usual time. And we are very much here for training skills faster. Also know that specific lot traits can help you train these skills quicker too. Homey will impact on the cooking, gourmet cooking and mixology skills, and Convivial will affect the Charisma skill, with these lot traits allowing you to save around 25% of the usual time it takes to train relevant skills. Also, if you have the City Living Expansion Pack, then consider the Chef's Kitchen trait, which will help spark inspired moodlets while cooking. Now you'll start out in the career as an assistant dishwasher, and the daily task until you specialize at rank 6 is to prepare food or mix drinks which can be done by cooking using your kitchen or by making drinks using a bar. I find an easy and free way to do this is to use a bar to pour yourself a couple of glasses of water before calling it a day. Completing the daily tasks before each workday will boost your performance, as will having good relationships with your co-workers, going to work with positive emotions, and changing the way that your sim works to be work hard. This can be done by clicking on the two people on the top right of your sim's head icon while they are away at work. Working hard will increase work performance, but reduce their fun need and potentially make your sim stressed. Your sim can also take it easy, lowering performance but increasing fun and potentially making your sim happy. They can also study master chefs, which also lowers work performance but increases your cooking skill and can potentially make you inspired, and also socialize with co-workers, which lowers work performance but fills the social need, and potentially lets them meet co-workers and make friends. At level 2 in the career, you'll unlock a new kitchen counter, at level 3 a coffee pot, and at level 4 a sink that can have an inspiring emotional aura enabled. Then at level 5 in the career, you'll unlock an island counter to match the kitchen counter that you unlocked earlier, and you will also unlock new clothes. And from what I can tell, this is a chef style double breasted top, which overall I would say I'm a fan of, like it sure is selling the kitchen fantasy. Now to reach level 6 in the career, you'll need level 4 of both the cooking and the mixology skill. And it's at rank 6 that you'll need to choose to specialize in either the chef or mixologist branch. Let's take a look at the chef branch first. And when you enter this branch at level 6 as a head caterer, you'll be given a knife block that can have an inspiring emotional aura enabled. The daily task will also specifically be to prepare food now and you'll gain a new way to work being to create fancier dishes. This lowers work performance, but will increase your gourmet cooking skill. If your sim is in the chef branch and has level 5 cooking, then your sim will also be able to make a signature cake named after themselves. Then at level 7 in the career, you'll unlock ceiling pot racks that can have an inspiring aura enabled. It's at level 8 that you'll unlock a fridge that once again can have an inspiring aura enabled, but more importantly and more excitingly is that you'll unlock the ability to write cookbooks. This is actioned from the right section of a computer, and once completed you'll be able to license the cookbook using your mailbox for ongoing royalties. You can also just keep them and read them too. Finally, reaching the top of the career will see you unlock some range hoods as well as an awesome little stove, which again can have an inspiring aura enabled. You'll also unlock a new, flashier double-breasted chef top 
which is kind of like an upgrade, however with less colour options. You'll need level 10 cooking and level 8 gourmet cooking to reach the top of this branch as a celebrity chef, and here your sim will work Friday through to Monday and take home 2,460 simoleons per workday. Now let's take a look at the mixologist branch. And when you first enter at level 6 as a head mixologist, you'll gain a cask that can have a playful emotional aura enabled. Your daily work task will also specifically be to mix drinks now, and you'll also gain a new way to work, being to practice bar drinks. This lowers work performance, but has a chance to make you inspired. After entering this branch, if your sim has level 5 mixology, then they'll also gain the ability to make a special drink named after them too. At level 8 in the career, you'll unlock a bottle rack, which can have an inspiring emotional aura enabled, and more importantly, you'll unlock the ability to write bar guides on the computer. Again, once written, you can keep and read these, or license them for ongoing royalties. When you reach level 9, you'll unlock a fancy cocktail inspired light, and yes, you guessed correctly, it can have an inspiring aura enabled. And then finally, reaching the top of this career will see you unlock a fancy bar, and as you've come to expect, an inspiring emotional aura is included. You'll also unlock a rather cool bartending outfit that I quite like. It's relatively unique and hospitality-like while still feeling kind of fun. You'll need level 10 mixology and level 8 charisma to reach the top of this branch as a celebrity mixologist, and here your sim will work Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and take home 1,970 simoleons per workday. Now just before finishing up, a few quick tips. Firstly, consider making your sim like cooking and mixology as this will provide them with happy moodlets while engaging with these skills, and they'll be engaging with them a lot in the culinary career. Next is that when it comes to aspirations, consider Master Chef for if you enter the chef branch of the culinary career. The aspiration milestones tie into the career, and the reward trait for completing the aspiration is called Fresh Chef, and it will make it so that your sim always makes the highest quality food and that it never ever goes off. If you alternatively enter the mixologist branch, then consider the master mixologist aspiration. Again, the milestones tie in very well with the mixology branch of the culinary career, and the reward trait, which is called Potion Master, allows you to make mood potions using a bar for the cost of 1,000 simoleons. This includes confident, focused, energized, happy, inspired, and flirty potions, and drinking these will provide a very strong plus 100 moodlet in its relevant mood for 3 hours. Moving on, and know that sims with the foodie trait will gain a strong happy moodlet from consuming high quality food and drink, which will generally help your culinary sims to stay a bit happier, seeing as they'll be able to whip up some great quality food and drink. Finally, if you have the points, then consider picking up the connections reward trait, which costs 3000 satisfaction points. This will allow you to enter straight into level 4 of the culinary career. Also, you may want the entrepreneurial trait. This costs 2,000 satisfaction points and will provide you with a passive performance boost. And with that, we're at the end. That's a complete guide to the culinary career in The Sims 4. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed or found this helpful, then feel free to check out some of my other career guides if that interests you. And of course, I hope you have an amazing day. See you later!